you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 25th friday the nativity of our lord jesus christ let's begin this day with the blessings of the child jesus a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john chapter 1 verses 1 to 5 and 9 to 14 in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god he was in the beginning with god all things came into being through him and without him not one thing came into being what has come into being in him was life and the life was the light of the people the light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not overcome it the true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world he was in the world and the world came into being through him yet the world did not know him he came to what was his own and his own people did not accept him but to all who received him who believed in his name he gave power to become children of god who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man but of god and the word became flesh and lived among us and we have seen his glory the glory as of father's only son full of grace and truth the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ wish you a happy christmas my dear friends in jesus the magnificent passage we have just heard is from the opening of john's gospel there is no mention of a bethlehem of mary of shepherds or the stable or the manger so why do we read this gospel for christmas day the bethlehem story of course was told during the last night's mass at midnight but today we are as it were going behind the scenes and looking at the deeper meaning of that story after all who is that little baby so small so helpless and why do we make such a fuss about his birth he is the word of god from the beginning he was with god and was god think of those extraordinary words as you gaze at the stable or the grip though the word god expresses his very self just as in an analogous way we reveal ourselves through the way we speak and what we say so through this word all things came to be to this word we and our world world oh how very existence <clears throat> at this time our city and the homes are filled with the light guiding us through the dark valleys of our lives it is no coincidence that christmas is celebrated in the depth of winter just after the winter as we look forward in hope to the long days of light and the new life ready to burst forth after this corona virus and all epidemic Jesus will say later that he is the light of the world. Today's gospel says the light shines in the darkness and that darkness cannot overpower it. It is in this hope that we long to see the darkness of a world put to light. He was in the world that had its being through him and the world did not recognize him. He came to his own place and his own people did not accept him. For the word was made flesh and lived among us it does not say the word became a human being but flesh in john's course language flesh refers to all that he, that is weak and sinful in our human nature as the letter of to the hebrew word in the second reading god in the past spoke to us through many prophets and other spokespersons but now he has spoken to us through his only son because the sun is the word of god this sun is the radiant light of god's glory and the perfect copy of his nature in seeing all that jesus says and thus we are bearing put in touch with very nature of god 
born in utter simplicity without many of the conveniences of life that we would take for granted and regard as essential away from him home rejected by very place every place of shelter in the town visited by shepherds who were despised outcasts a good exercise would be look at the birth of jesus in the corresponding situation in our city today it is important to be aware that this scene is not just for pious contemplation it is it contains a message god has become a human person like us he has come to live and work among us he has entered our world to bless it and to liberate all those enslaved by oppression by hunger and homeless enslaved by addictive habits and substances enslaved by fear anger resentment hatred loneliness etc let's pray that we may approach this child to be liberated from our particular enslavement but more than that as brothers and sisters of jesus we are called to work together with him to help others break the chains of their enslavement so that in the words of isaiah today all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our god amen wish you a happy christmas